Uh, when House members depart this week, uh, the American people could feel better about the fact that we are now one step closer to delivering on the funds needed to put America's health first. I would wish we had been able to do this last week, but this straightforward emergency coronavirus funding bill passed uh, the House overwhelmingly yesterday and speed up the development of vaccines, increase access to testing, treatments, and will expand access to telemedicine to make it easier to see their doctors remotely. Uh, this is very good news, but is also a reprieve that was unnecessarily delayed. Since it became clear that coronavirus was becoming more serious, I had urged our colleagues to leave politics out of the national discussion. That's the exact approach we took when we controlled in Congress and President Obama was in when we had Ebola crisis, and this is the same approach we're taking now. Unfortunately, on the Democratic side, we were not able to pass it last week. They control the floor. They gave the DCCC, their political arm, opportunity to spend uh, campaign ads against seven Republicans, not sure what that, uh, what that was about, but it gave them a political arm that they wanted to use. I don't think this is the place for it. I think they owe the American public an apology, and more importantly, we should spend that effort and time in solving this problem. 